to pee for a toilet that has a one euro you have to tell me. I'm going to spare one euro. <laughs> yeah. I really need to pee, please. But <laughs> unfortunately the bathroom is, is like... It's one euro. Baby, I'm in the toilet, in the shop. Should I go to the bathroom? The bathroom is one euro. Should I spend one euro for my house account? <laughs> <laughs> no, we are not talking about that yet. No, I mean if somebody is really too controlling, and I think I'm too controlling already, but I, no, 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 that's not what we are talking about. We are talking about major things. No, no, I have done already. No, euro, 200 euro. I also um, did something last time that I didn't tell you about. Should I tell you now? No, I think I... No! What do you do? <laughs> Ciao ragazzi! Another financial education in a marriage episode. Mm -hmm. If you have been in a relationship for a long time, I'm sure you have done it and you are guilty of it. Just some secret, some secret stuff you are doing that you know probably your partner is not, I don't it's know. He's not really happy with it. Like I think for you a motorcycle. Ay, 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 <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I'm still... After how many years? Three years? Four years? It's just one of those things that if, we, if you're single, I could definitely have done this and could have bought this. Or it's for me, it's really like just those t-shirts and shirts and jeans that you say, Baby, oh, you have a new jean? No, it has been the cupboard for six months. Yeah, so we're just <laughs> having seven different jackets for winter. Yeah, right? but if you're asking right away, we just say, no, it's an old one. It's an old one, yes, that I bought just two months ago. Yeah, but that that is the thing because... Although I think eventually at the end of the day it feels like you're cheating yourself because it's your own finance. Mm -hmm. Whether you told me that you bought it yesterday, or I mean whether you told me you bought it two years ago but you literally bought it yesterday, you're mm -hmm. messing up your own finance. Absolutely. So I think you know now you have a hint of what we are talking about in this video with this financial cheating. The question of the day before we start with the video, what was the secret purchase? That your partner made in your relationship just check like you here in this video i've done a couple especially when it comes to clothes i think that's always my secret thing when it comes to that when you are financially cheating your partner basically you have done it before you probably hide a purchase somewhere maybe you opened a secret credit card <laughs> i'm sure oh do you have a secret credit card that i don't know about I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, it took me a while, but I think I don't know. Um, but I, I just, it's those things, because at the end of the day, you still go to work, right, as mm -hmm. a person. Absolutely. You can actually open your own credit card that nobody knows, because the person is secretly checking all the time on the other credit card. So that's where we are today. Now, we have discussed it before, I'm also going to leave that video here. We have a joint account, and I'm just saying, we have that joint account. It's uncomfortable when you come to me and you say, oh, oh, I see you bought some clothes on the joint account. account. Why did you do that? <laughs> yeah, so because of certain things, it's probably wise you want to have your own secret account where you're buying things that nobody's asking you about. Uh -huh. So you see, that's how they do it. No, it's not that's how they do it. It's, it's a lot, but it's frustrating. That somebody is controlling your finances and yeah, I remember when I once I, I we were not even married. We were kind of married or in, as long as well, you're in a yeah, relationship. Yeah, we were, but like we were two years on on our in our relationship, and I bought a phone without even telling you about, and I just say yeah, I bought a new phone, and she was so pissed about that. I remember about this episode. Are we now here episode. buying a phone or we need to be saving money for future things that are moving? <laughs> My goodness. We were not living together. I we don't care. Together. We are in a relationship. <laughs> we are managing money No, together. you have to imagine people that are still at the university in time. I know this girl uh, since two years. We are not living together, but we are in a relationship <laughs> and she get peace because I buy myself a new no, stuff. Yeah, you know why? You know why? Because I think for me, it's because some people do these things in a relationship with a justification when we are married I'm going to change it, but mm -hmm. it's not going to change. It's going mm -hmm. if it's your habit It's just going you're going to go with it You're in a marriage and you're still like then you still want to justify by saying yeah, it's my money. It's my cell phone. You do I have to 
to communicate to you that I'm buying an iPhone. I mean, I understand like if it was something more important, but I don't even buy an iPhone or these kind of uh, things. It was yeah. something really pretty cheap. Yeah, but it's relevant because if you're a student and you just get out of the uni and your salary is 800, even if you make a purchase of a jean that is 200, is a big thing. Oh, wow, wow. It's, it's, a, it's a large percentage of your salary. Don't know if it was that thing was appropriate at the time of the relationship, but... It yeah, that is the kind of problems that you have. When, if, if I buy a purchase that I didn't tell you about, mm -hmm. how would you feel about it? Let me say you didn't even know about it, you didn't ask, you didn't see it. Later you realize I had... You, you did that? Yes. Well, how would you feel? Is it? I, I, okay, I didn't uh, see the purchase, and I, so I don't know that you had done it. Yeah, maybe later, two years later, or a year uh, later. No, I need to think about hiding it is as bad as lying uh, that you have... Uh, you feel betrayed if I buy something that's 10,000 euros on my account without communicating to you? Yes, uh, I think oh, it was... not lying, I went for it. I know, I know, but uh, we are in a, in a relationship, so I think uh, I should... Uh, I should at least I should at least be feeling feel I should at least feel hurt because you didn't come to me to ask like to have an opinion on that like the final decision if it's your money yes it, but at it's least yours run by and say you know what? but it's also our money so you should come and say it's like I'm coming and uh, home and with with a new car for new brand new purchase car. I spent that 15,000 or 40,000 euros uh, on, on that car, how would you feel? Deal breaker. Deal breaker, yeah. That, no, that for me, it. it's the thing is, when you're in a, in a relationship, of, of course it depends on different relationships, but if you're in a relationship where you set financial goals together and it works toward them, that 10,000 or 5,000 you take and you do something separate, for sure you're not going to be contributing the amount of money you're supposed to contribute to the investment that we decided at the, best, at the beginning of the year we should do together. Absolutely. That is my problem. However, mm -hmm. like what we have with our separate accounts, we do have a common account where we do things that we purchase together. Mm -hmm. Then we do have also saving and how much we are contributing to savings and investment. If you just take, you know, we have also a room to play. If yeah. you say, well, this is just for my monthly budget for... Ex uh, expenses yeah. that it's are it's not minor planned. things unplanned that you just expenses. say yes when you say okay you know that is fine but when you do major something that is definitely going to impact the goals that we have set together if we don't have deposit for a home anymore because you definitely did and buy because a, I bought a, new... a collective vintage car because you wanted mm -hmm. it so then that is a problem for me yeah no it's a problem for us because it's uh, yeah. our money and because when you are in a marriage, even though, you know, you still have your final separated uh, income that is your job, like is, is what you have earned with your work, uh, still like uh, that money needs to be controlled and checked by both persons because the deciding factor, if you want to build a family and if you want to uh, build also a house or having a house or having a financial goals they are together and they are common for the whole family they should be they should be like your partner should be have a say on the, how you are spending your money or oh, should just be informed informed i think is fine it's no because i don't think if i inform you to buy a new car <laughs> yeah, I to go it, it, a new car no because i need to advise yes. you thank you <laughs> just an injection very oh, please be careful with yourself. Anyways, my point is, I should be at least informed. Of course, when you come to me informing me, it should be something makes sense. If it's not making sense, I'm definitely saying no. And mm. we start there. Yeah, but and we <laughs> stop there, I would say. <laughs> Hey honey, I really need to tell you something. Look at the backyard. We have a new auto. And you are like, yeah, that's a mess. Oh, that is a mess. No, if I, on, I mean, honestly, if I find you in the car, <laughs> oh, it's a deal break. I think my fear when you have, when I think of what we could possibly do or what, for you, I don't think you have to fear anything. I'm the stingiest person when it comes to my own, to my own gift. Also, I not your mind, I guess. Yeah. But I don't know, you have the close things. I have maybe a yes, motorcycles, but no, not even anymore because mm. my problem is buying clothes, especially jackets. 
Yeah. I don't know why. Winter, I think because you can't go anywhere. You just want to be somewhere else and it's going to be in a shop and you're buying because you can't go to the park or whatsoever or go for a walk. It's cold. So winter, I buy I mean, a lot of things. I think each of us but, has like some things like we crave for and they are not really something that they, we needed 100% but they are like kind of things that we like to own uh, and for uh, no reason I mean, for women it's mostly like jewelry or clothes or purse this kind of stuff for mm -hmm. men is even car or you know a motorcycle like it is in my case uh, but I would also want a car like that fish in Cochento. I think although I think I will never use it <laughs> because I think it's <laughs> you feel really like bad. you want it <laughs> but every single time if I see it driving by I'm like no, oh, that is my cute. dream car. I don't even know what dream car to do. I think they think it's useless. It's too small. It's too small <laughs> to <laughs> we have, uh, we know that we have and we have space. But yeah, yeah. When it comes to opening a secret account, that is the deal breaker. We say. I mean, if you're in a relationship and you have a secret account, and oh, it's, wow. it's financial cheating at another level. But to, we do have several accounts. Like what we are doing in our actual situation is. We have one common account in which we put uh, the budget money that we have for the month, so our half and half of the, our monthly expenses. And then on top of that, of course, we have our personal account and each of us uh, get uh, the money for the salaries in this account. So that is kind of our secret account. It's your personal account. It's I have no one. Oh. Yeah, it's not secret, but I don't have a... a, a any uh, access to it like if you want to purchase a uh, 400 euros jacket i can't i can't know that you just say, yes that you is just true. come you just come back home and you say oh okay, dear that is uh, i found it on the sales and the shops i just paid for you 40 euros for this jacket that, i would never know yes that is true you will never know if if I, if I let me say if i just go and i go i do something that is a thousand two thousand or so ever on my personal account you never know do you think it's fair though if i keep that a secret from you that's the point here that is not it's not fair absolutely not fair but that that is i think for me that is the problem because the, the, if i go and i buy five thousand something right mm -hmm. on my account and i don't tell you yeah, I mean, my what point is like, you don't need a secret account, basically. I think hiding, you should never hide. That's going no. to No, if you the hide, trust. then the partner discovered the purchase and you are lying about how much you have paid for it. That is even worse. For me, just this way. If you're hiding about, if you're doing financial cheating, I don't know what other cheating you're not doing. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? If you can really hide this purchase from me, I don't know if it really is the same. Yes, thing. baby, it's it's how faithful and how truthful the person is. Mm -hmm. If I ask you where you coming from and when did you buy this, and you say, no, I was just at my friend Anna the whole weekend, and you were in a vacation with. We probably went somewhere to spend oh, with your friends. Oh, with your friends. And you spent. I was like in Las five. Vegas, and I lost five thousand of there. Just say. You know, I'm really, I want to buy a Fiat Cinquecento, what do you think? Mm. Because when you show up with a Fiat Cinquecento and you spend the money, there's no going back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's no, it's, the trust is broken. The trust yeah. is broken. And it makes it very difficult to say, moving forward, we still have our money together and you're managing it. When you have spent so much on your own without informing the other True. person, it becomes a problem. Yeah. So no, no. Yeah. I also saw in the in the video draft we also talking about financial arguments and struggles and I think those arguments they will never go away they are always there. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean? Like financial that? arguments in the relationship. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. You have to stand up for yourself, otherwise. I think it depends what kind of person are you. If you can, if you can be truthful, not purchase things uh, behind the back of your partner, and then uh, uh, you just need to have the, you know, the basic communication. How much is your income? How much you are going to contribute per month? <laughs> so why are you spending ninety percent of your income on a car? Exactly. Yes, this kind of things, but yeah. Some of them we are guilty. Yeah, I've done some, a couple, especially hiding a little bit of budgets here and there. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's not fine, but I bought a motorcycle <laughs> without telling her. Just yeah, we have been there in some cases. It's not advisable. I would 
Again, okay, don't do it intentional. Don't plan to do it. If it happens, yeah, apologize. Move forward. So it's okay. not good. But I think it's part of a relationship. You can't say you're in a relationship where you're not having financial struggles or arguments or disagreements or mistakes. Absolutely. So that was it, I think, for the video. I hope that you have enjoyed this content. Please. Ciao, ciao.